Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get MPVacious or any other Anki script on MPV for Android. Alright, so I have my phone screen pulled up here, and the first thing you're going to need to do is download MPV from the App Store. Next, we need to navigate to the MPV folder on your phone. And unless your phone is rooted, you'll have to do this by using an external device, like your PC. The folder you're going to navigate to is in your internal storage, Android, and then media. Inside here, if it doesn't already exist, you're going to create a folder called is.xyz.mpv. And inside here, you're going to create two more folders, one called scripts and another called script ops. Next, we're going to download our script, which is mpvacious. The download link is in the description. Make sure you also download the subs2srs.conf file. Since this script is made for PC, I haven't found a way to create any cards using it, but MPV will display an error if you don't download it. Once you've got it downloaded, extract MPVacious and drag it into the scripts folder. And then drag subs2srs.conf into the script ops folder. Now we need to tell MPV where the script is located. This may be different depending on your phone, so make sure you have the right directory. The directory needs to have the exact same name as the folder you downloaded. In my case, I downloaded version 0.40, so I'm making sure that's in my directory name. To edit your MPV config, you need to navigate into Settings, Advanced, then Edit MPV Config. Then you can just type in the directory of your script. As you can see, MPVacious is now successfully running on my Android phone. One thing I noticed about MPV Android is that it doesn't detect the control key. And if you find a solution to this, please let me know. So because of this, you'll need to rebind some of the MPV hotkeys. These are the bindings I set for my 8-bit do controller but feel free to change these to match your setup. You can check what the functions are called on the GitHub page. Here's an example of the setup working. The functions I have set up right now are the play until end of next line, replay current line, rewind, change subtitle visibility, and change subtitle delay. If anyone knows a way to make this work with Anki Connect on Android, please let me know and I'll update this tutorial. I felt compelled to make this tutorial since I only found like two posts total on using scripts with MPV on Android. I recently got this 8-bit do controller, so I've been looking for any uses for it too. Anyway, I hope that helped. I'll see you in the next one.